Lena. So it's raining outside today and I have a little bit of a cold, uh, but that's okay. I felt like making a video anyway because I hadn't in the past couple of days. I have no idea why I'm outside right now, so I'm going to go back inside. Look, it's raining. Yay. So anyway, I've just been like kind of relaxing the past couple of days, but I'm totally going through this like tangled stage right now like you know like that not literally tangled like I'm fine but I mean like the movie tangled like cuz I, I like watched it I've been wanting to watch it like all week but so I was finally like you know what I'm gonna watch it yesterday and so I watched it and oh my god that movie is just so amazing like if you haven't seen it just then because that movie is freaking ridiculously awesome but anyway so um Speaking of Tangled, the chameleon Pascal. Oh my god, he's the cutest thing in the world. And it's so freaking hilarious. I mean, oh my god, that movie is so funny. It made me laugh so hard. I just can't get over it. And anyway, I wanted to tell a story about my old chameleon, Chris. Because it's kind of it's kind of like a scary... Okay, this is going to be a scary movie video. So, basically, I used to have this chameleon. Let's say this is a chameleon, okay? And he was green turtle because it's not working. So I had this chameleon named Chris. This is Chris. And he would escape from his cage all the time somehow uh, when I was little. And I'd be sitting on the couch or something like totally innocently like watching TV. And all of a sudden I'd look down and Chris is like crawling across this floor, across the floor with his mouth is like really open and he was like ah. And then he'd just like slowly crawl up my blanket and then bite me. And I was like god this evil demon lizard and it was just the most terrible experience ever, except I loved Chris because he was cool and he had a curly tail. Um, and so, like, whenever I wanted to hold him, I'd have to, like, put a stick of cheese, like, near his face because then he would bite the stick of cheese instead of my finger. And sometimes he'd eat the entire thing and it, like, made him grow. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not advising that you feed your chameleon cheese sticks, but still, it was just, like, he, he became, like, a super lizard lizard. Superhuman lizard. Super... If a lizard is a superhero, is it just like a superhuman lizard or a super reptile lizard? Anyway, um, so he became like this, this bionic <laughs> lizard. Um, not bionic. You know what I mean. And, um, then he escaped again one day, and I guess somehow he got outside. And so we didn't see him for three months, and we were like, ah, oh, Chris is gone, oh, boo-hoo. And, and it was just... Yeah, it, I, I just let it go. And um, then one night, I, it was like, literally, it was like a thunder lightning storm. Like, literally. And, like, this window, right here, literally this window, right here, there was like a flash of lightning. And I, like, saw this, like, silhouette of something, like, clinging to my window on the outside. And I was like, what the hell? And so, like, I got up, and I, like, turned on the light tried to see what it was and I just saw these four little like clampy feet on the on the on the screen door window and it like scared I was like what the hell is that and then the lightning flashed again outside and Chris was like literally both of his little eyeballs that are usually like in different places were like both right on me like staring into my very soul core and it was just the most terrifying thing I've ever seen and so I started crying and I went to my mom and I was like mom Chris is back and she was all just like, yay, but I was just like, get that lizard out of my sight. But then again, he was kind of a mean lizard, but I still want a chameleon because they're, they're super... Generally, they're kind of cool. I found a lizard yesterday. The day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. but, um, I love you guys so much, and also, um, oh, oh, um, I'm going to be doing, um, um... I'm going to be doing contests per every 20,000 subscribers that I get. So, uh, for the, I did one for the 100,000 subscribers, one for the 120,000 subscribers, and I'm going to be doing another one for 140,000 subscribers. So once I reach 140, I'm going to have, um, more prizes and stuff, and, um, then once I get 200,000, then there's going to be, like, a super, super surprise. So, super, super prize for winning. So, be looking forward to that, you guys. Because I like doing contests, it's fun. Um, okay, and also for every Wednesday at 5 p.m. 
California time. Don't forget, it's my live show. It was really fun. The last two weeks I did it. So, okay. I'm gonna go. And if you haven't seen Tangled yet, or if you've already seen it, go watch Tangled right now. Because I think that's what I'm gonna do, even though I just watched it yesterday. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great day, please. And for all of you who uh, also have a cold, or also don't feel well, um, please feel better. Okay. I love you guys so much. Oops, I zoomed in. Okay. <laughs> Bye.